Ayuki. Two days ago, it was Murdered and Missing Indigenous Women's Day here in the United States. And this is a day to seek justice for the Native women and people who have gone lost and murdered and their cases untouched. Native women are 10 times more likely than any other person in the United States. More like 10 times more likely to go murdered or missing and their case dropped. And I think that a lot of times when we honor this day, that day, we neglect to look at the systems and the prevention that could also be, we should also be advocating for. Um, it is more than the justice system, although the justice system needs to improve, definitely, and we need to put pressure on the justice system. But a lot of the women in my life that have gone missing and murdered, if they had had child care, their situation would have been a lot better. If they had had a work, family-friendly work environment, they would have not been made so vulnerable and so desperate. If they had had support and domestic violence, a place to go to uphold boundaries from a partner, a safe place to go, a safe place to be living away from their partner, they would not have been put in such a vulnerable situation. If they'd had after school programs, if they had had um, all of those resources, if they'd had access to birth control, if they'd had access to maternity leave, paid maternity leave, and paternity leave to have a partner support them, they would not have been put in situations where they were so desperate to go back. They would have not been put in such dire financial straits and brought so low. Because these women I knew, they were all loving mothers. They were all strong, hardworking women. And they were just brought low by these systems that fail them. We fail them. And I think we don't look at this part of this day this aspect of the day because it asks us to sacrifice a little bit of our own comforts to make places friendly for women, to make places safe for women. And we have to acknowledge our own privileges, people that don't have kids or people that don't have to worry about those situations. So if your organization, your school, if your tribe isn't making it easier for a woman and a family person to be able to work and live in that area safely for their kids and support them, then it's not truly in support of MMIW and it needs to be changed. Thank you.